like to welcome everyone to the Pelican Sound Charity Foundation kickoff event. Too quiet out there. I'd like to introduce Neil Severance. For the last year and a half, we've been working on how we can restructure the gracious activities carried on by many people in this community so that they had more order and benefit for Southwest Florida. And as you know, we created the Pelican Sound Foundation. And I want to appreciate the work that Kathy Rhodes did, who now serves as our president. And so I introduce her right now to you. Thank you, Kathy. Welcome everybody. It's so exciting to have you all here at our first fundraising event at the Pel for the Pelican Sound Charitable Foundation. It's the helicopter ball drop. Hopefully it'll be an annual event that we'll continue to do year after year. Um, as Neil said, I'm Kathy Rhodes and I'm president of the foundation. Since the formation of our new charitable foundation in April of last year, our team of 11 directors and seven additional committee members have worked endless hours volunteering their time to build the structure, the policies, and the direction for the success of this new Pelican Sound Charitable Foundation. Hopefully you've all had an opportunity to meet each and every one and recognize their dedication to making our organization a huge success. And now we want to thank you for your generous direct donations to the foundation, which we started, I think, in October. Uh, we have raised over $23,000 in just direct donations to the foundation, which is something we're able to do since we're a 501c3, so thank you so much. Um, but even more amazing is the participation in this golf ball drop. Um, we had some targets and budgets and we, um, we exceeded them by a lot. We have raised over $20,000 in these golf ball sales. So, for, so we have a total of uh, $43,860 to date for the foundation. Huge success. All right. Everybody has deep pockets. We are going to auction off two rides on the helicopter, two 15-minute rides here down to Naples and back. You don't have to worry about traffic. Easy. No lights. Right back. Do we have any couples that would like to auction? Any couples? Anybody else? Or the auction's over. I gotta give you a price though. You might want to go back. Individual ticket would be two hundred. The couples is a thousand. Can we do it? We do it? So dropping the golf balls and measuring them we did find the furthest golf ball and we had to look far and wide but we figured it was worth the prize so the person with the furthest golf ball number 902 Brian and Stacy Stoke 
I must pronounce it. S T R O J N Y. Stroch The winner for Mario's Mystery Prize. It's six dozen Bridgestone golf balls. And and a picker upper. The number was two one five zero, and it goes to David Taylor. The next award is from Amore Jewelers, and it's the bracelet, diamond bracelet. So, men, I hope you win. The winner is number one six zero four Ted Agnes. All right, we are. At the Hamilton tickets. And the winner is, number, or number is, 2135 Barb Weiner. Yes. The Weiner. Four day Charleston stay that Kathy and Dusty Rhodes has uh, contributed. Number 1106, Jeannie and Carrie Villama. Now for the cash prizes. In third, but making a lot of money anyway, number 114, Marcy Graff. Marcy Graff. Five and a half inches from the hole. For $1,000. Number 917. And the big winner. I just said we're all winners because of the charities. But the big winner for $2,500, number one. No, 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 no. All right, four and a half inches, four and a quarter inches from the hole, I should say. Number one, one. Oh. The winner is Jeff Hunt.